viewers welcome to pastor beam tv pastor beam tv right before you to wish you a strong stance in christ there is no other way but jesus he is the way the truth and the life today we'll be talking about standing for the truth my dear viewers stand for the truth insist on the truth maintain the truth if it's not a truth, it's not life. He is the way, the truth, and the life. Don't compromise. Don't believe in lies. Don't walk with lies. If it's not real, it's not for you. Jesus is the real thing that any man should deserve. Desire him. Desire is, is touching your life in a special way. Truth. Is all about his word. His word is truth. So today I want to enjoin you that according to John 14, 6, Jesus, the truth and the life. First is the way into that truth and the truth will give us life. I read what Psalm 24, 3 to 4 says to us from the NKJV says who may ascend into the hill of the lord or who may stand in his holy place he that has clean hands and a pure heart he who has not lifted up his soul to an idol nor sworn deceitfully that's the only kind of people that god says can stand in his holy place those are the kind of people the Lord would abide with because they abide in truth. He says he will make his abode with them. He will make fellowship with them. He will enjoy hanging around them. He will enjoy being by their side. The psalmist says that is my shade upon my right hand. Because around you, Christ will dwell because you are attracting the Spirit of God. He says, who will ascend unto the hill of the Lord, who may stand in his holy place. Verse 4 makes us realize that it's only those with clean hands, people who have been standing on the truth, who has been dwelling on the truth, people with pure hearts, that truth matters to them. They won't settle for less. They abide in the truth. They walk in the truth. They won't compromise the truth. They won't doctor the truth. They will stand by the truth. He said, those who have not lifted their soul to an idol, nor sworn deceitfully, they stand for the truth. In the face of opposition, they are standing because they will not compromise the truth. And the word of God let us realize that he is always beside us. Hebrews 13, 5 says that he will not leave us, he will not forsake us. But we must maintain his standard. We want his presence around us. We want his glory around us. So we must continue in truth because he is of the truth. Truth is light. Anything untrue is darkness. So we must abide by the truth. We have God's protection. We have his shield. We have his cover. Psalm 27 and verse 1 to 3, I read to us from the NKJV. It says, The Lord is my light and my salvation. Whom shall I fear? The Lord is the strength of my life. Of whom shall I be afraid? If the Lord is your light and your salvation, why would you have anything to do with what is not light darkness which we say that anything untrue is darkness you won't have any business with that whom should you be afraid of because your god is light no harm can befall you because you're standing on the truth you're standing on what he has said nobody can bamboozle you to make you compromise you're standing on the word of jesus hallelujah the word of jesus that never fails Standing on the promises of God. Standing, standing, standing on the promises of God. Standing on the promises of God, on His truth as your anchor. His unfailing word. His word is unfailable. Hallelujah. So stand on the promise of what He says that I will be with you. He says that you should remain in Him. And whoever is in Christ stands for the truth, does not compromise the truth. I go back to Psalm 27, 
Now in verse 2 it says, When the wicked came against me to eat up my flesh, my enemies and foe, they stumbled and fell. What did they fall? Because Christ is with you. Christ is with me. He's my backbone. He's my ever-present help in time of trouble. The Bible says he's my standby, my shield and my buckler, my protector, my deliverer. Hallelujah. Jehovah, my banner. Hallelujah. I'm covered 24-7. He says he will give his angels charge over me. So he says the wicked stumble. If anybody who is insisting that you must compromise the truth tries to threaten you, make you afraid, stand on the truth, the truth of Christ. He will protect you, he will shield you because it's your buckler and your shield. No harm shall befall you because you are standing on what is true. You are standing on life itself. So no other life aside from living the way of Christ is the way, the truth and the life, the Bible says. Hallelujah. John, John, in, in, as he told that the Bible let us realize in John 14, 6. So I will read the last verse I have here. It says, Though an enemy may encamp against me, my heart shall not fear. That is someone who knows his God. My heart shall not fear. Though war may rise against me, in this I will be confident. He said, Even though war rises against me, in this I will be confident. I'm confident of this very thing. I'm confident of this very thing. That he who has begun a good work in me, he shall accomplish it until the day of Jesus Christ. You will be confident when you walk in the truth. When we walk in the light of his word. He says, do an army and come against me. My heart shall not fear because I know that my God is with me. If my God is with me, whom then shall I fear? Whom then shall I fear? Oh no, you never let go to the storm and to the rock. Oh no, you never let go. He will never let you go to the storm. He will never let go. Oh no, you never let go. Lord, you never let go of me. He will fail you, he will leave you. He says, do an army and camp against me. My heart shall not fear. Do war rise against me. In this I will be confident. Hallelujah. In this challenge, you can be confident that God is with you. He never let the three brave children down. He was with them. To the furnace of fire. He was with Daniel. In that day. Hallelujah. The last psalm I have for us is Psalm 15, 1 to 3, still from the New King James Version. It says, Lord, who may abide in your tabernacle? We are still talking about those standing by the truth. It says, who may stand in your tabernacle? Who may dwell in your holy place? He who walks uprightly and walks righteousness and speaks the truth in his heart. Hallelujah. Speaks the truth in his heart. He speaks it out, and even in his heart there is truth. God expects truth to be in our hearts, to live the truth, think the truth, act the truth, exhibit the truth. Because the truth will make darkness to recede. You are light, and the truth of God must be in you, if you are a child of God. I read on. He who does not backbite with his tongue, nor does evil to his neighbor, nor does he take up a reproach against his friend. He's pure. He's holy. He's walking in the nature of the Father, in the nature of love. Everything about him is true. Everything about him is beautiful. Everything about him calls for, for, for joy because he holds on to the truth, the truth of the Word of God that brings us life, joy, abundance of life. Life in the real sense. So I enjoy you, my viewers. I want you to be bold and be confident. Be uncompromising. Stand on in the will of God. You and God, you are majority. Even if anybody that you never expected forsake you just because you are standing on the truth. I want you to remember that 
whoever is in God's camp is in the majority. It's not in the number of people who support what you believe or who are against you because you are standing on the truth. Keep standing on the truth. The Bible enjoins us as 1 Corinthians 16 and 13. It says, watch, stand fast in faith. Stand fast in this faith. Be grounded in this faith. Be unmovable in this faith. Just according to 1 Corinthians 15, 58 says us, be unmovable, be unshakable. So 1 Corinthians 16, 13, to say that, to stand fast in, fast in this faith, this faith that you believe, it said be brave and be strong. Be brave and be strong. Christ is with you. Remember I said, he has promised us in Hebrew 13, Father, that I will never leave you, I will never forsake you. He's your ever-present help. Be bold. He never failed Gideon when he told him that you are a mighty man of valor. Gideon did it. He's with you, my dear viewers. Be brave. Take that bold step and keep on the truth, unshaking and unmovable. Thank you for watching today. God bless you. And stay tuned to this broadcast. There will be a part two. Watch out. Thank you.